word. All right. So, you know how sometimes we talk about pettiness? Mm. Oh, that's a good one to watch. The King of Weird, um, Star Keisha does King a King of Weird, stop it. Stop plugging him. Dance. Stop plugging him. He's so funny. Stop. No, he's not. Okay, so. Is, is he paying? Is he paying us? No. No, but he's. Em, can I just tell you. Don't watch the King can of I tell Weird. you a quick story? Emma <laughs> was raving on about this King of Weird, right? And she showed me four videos and I said, okay, can I go now? Because <laughs> these, these are horrible. <laughs> and she said, she said, no, no, no. This other video. Let me show you this other video. And I, 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 I just let I, I, I watched it just to appease her. And at the end of it, she looked at me like, and she's like, "Isn't it good?" And I said, "No. Can I? Can this is not a torture camp? Can I go?" Now? I don't understand how you don't love him. I, I did it. All right, I committed the crime. I just don't want to watch this anymore. I don't understand it. I think to me, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. Lock it's me away. Top as long as I notch. <laughs> anyway. As long as I have to watch this ever again. So, sorry. I was just saying that Star Keisha did this um, cheerleading dance, Petty. Anyway, so we're talking about Petty stuff. Um, now, this, I guess it was a TikTok thing where this woman was confessing about a time she was Petty, I guess. Well, I don't know if that's what she was confessing. She was just saying. So what happened was she discovered that her husband had cheated on her throughout her pregnancy. Now, she said the other woman that he what was cheating asshole. with was his ex-girlfriend. And that particular girl had caused issues in their relationship before. So she did not like his ex-girlfriend. Right? Now... After she discovered this, soon after, the husband went to jail for, like, assault, right? Not on her, but assault. Now, Thea, the girl, was like, hmm, because the ex-girlfriend kept messaging and messaging and messaging, saying, hey, like, what's going on? Where are you? Why are you not answering my calls? Blah, blah, blah. Where have you been? What's happened? Blah, blah, blah. So she was like, I'm going to take this opportunity. So she gets in touch with the guy's sister and they divide and she, well, she devises a plan and basically messages the girl saying that he died. Then they put together a fake funeral, took pictures and everything, posted it um, and sent it to her. So she actually, oh, they sent, they did like a funeral. Uh, like Montage. A, mont, yeah. Sent it to her. This girl apparently still believes that he's dead and every year sends him a message on the date that she think he died. Like, you're, you know, I wish I could have been there for you. I still can't believe it. Who's she sending it to? She's posting it on her Facebook page. Oh, okay. How do yeah. we on a podcast, not knowing these people, know that he's dead and she doesn't? Or know that he's not dead and she doesn't? <laughs> no, so he was still in jail and she said, people say that I'm not telling the truth. And, you know, why, you know, she's made it up. But she showed all the posts and everything that she, she sort of prov provided evidence. The husband knows as well. And he would just thought that it was better that he just stayed, pretend to be dead to that woman. Cause she, she, like it just caused too much drama. <laughs> what do you think about that then? I think the lady is being pitied to the wrong person. The husband cheated. She should be while he's in prison. What are you talking about? What do you mean to the wrong person? What? As in she's taken it out on the girl, not her husband. Yeah, but it takes two of them to do yeah. it. Yeah. So where's is that so yeah, what's she done to I the don't other know girl's if, got no obligation I to I don't her. know if you know this, but he's in jail. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he's, probably being he's, probably, he's probably cheating now. <laughs> I get what you mean, with CJ, Gary. because the girl, <laughs> while she can be upset with the girl, you can't take it out on the girl because she's not the yeah. one you're in a relationship yeah. with. Yeah. You can Wait. take it out on the girl. It's if like the girl just... knows that he's in a relationship and still actively yeah. pursues him, he's saying that's no... It's no good, but at the end of the day, the buck falls with him. He's the one in the relationship with yeah. her. Like, so, so to you, adultery is only a one person. No, crime, not I did not person. say that. I said it's you can be people, angry at. But you would be. I'd be livid 
actually livid, but the main person that you'd have to be livid with was the person you're with. Huh. You'd still be yeah. livid at the other person, but you wouldn't take you wouldn't take it out on them. You wouldn't go out of your way to do something to them. You'd Unle- like unle- unless if you're close friends with the person. Unless it's like your actual I disagree friend. With yeah. that. Why? Hmm. Because it's I don't know. Let's take it out of let's take it out of a romantic relationship context. If I had a friend, and then there's someone external to that person who's influencing them to do bad things, and then that ends up getting my friend put in jail, I'm going to be pissed off with the person who influenced them just no, as much as I am with the because with my your friend, friend was okay. the one that was happy to be influenced. <laughs> what do you I mean? I don't think that's how influence works, Emma. Your friend. <laughs> And no, it's like me saying I'm, and sleep. I'm pretty sure and sleep and sleep. Your friend can make their own decisions, <laughs> no? So if they decide to they go can, down no, the bad, but I'm not. I'm not saying you're not upset with your friend, but I'm saying I'm still going to be pissed off with the person who's influencing them. Yeah, of because course. they That's willingly, what knowingly influence them to do something bad. Yeah, yeah, we said that. But you would he, be annoyed he, at them. He, him cheating on his wife didn't put him in jail. It was assault. What Wait, does that what? have to do with anything? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're talking about the cheating. He, he we're, not said t- we're not talking about the jail part. Him. We're talking about oh, okay. no, if he, he just... cheats. Are you ups- Emma's? I think were you saying that you're significantly more upset with the husband than with the other person? One hundred percent. Of course, I would never want to speak to that woman. I'd be absolutely livid. Might have a few choice words, but at the end of the day, the main bulk of my upset settedness which isn't a word would be to the husband because who is she to me she doesn't uh, owe me anything but he knows better and he's in a relationship too so like with me she knows better he's in a relationship but she's got nothing she's got nothing to do with with you well he's got nothing to do with you I, like I, look, I'm not suggesting. Because... I'm not suggesting that I wouldn't be upset with. Say it's my partner. I'm not suggesting I wouldn't be upset with my partner if she went out and cheated with another person. And yes, I may not have a connection to the guy, but at the same time, as you said, like if you're livid with someone, there's not much more I can be upset with someone else. Like that's that's me being pretty upset. Would you with two be people. more upset with that guy that you don't really know, or your girlfriend? I don't think I'd be more upset with either. I think just the whole situation would make me upset. I would be yeah, more but upset. Let's with say my the guy partner. doesn't know, doesn't know. I see. I pers- I don't. Know. I personally don't. If it, it like if she went and did that, I wouldn't hold too much weight in her doing that in terms of making me upset. It would be the situation that would make me more upset than her in terms of there would be an instant, like, shock of what, like, obviously not expecting this or whatever. But at the end of the day, I can't, con- like, in the same way that I don't know the guy and I have nothing to do with him, I can't control her. Like, I can't force her to not do... If she does that, that's me not knowing something. There's, Did I look- there's a level of her that I didn't know. And, I, like, why am I going to ruin my day ruined my uh, my emotional state for a long period of time over something that she's you know it's, i don't know no, like, no, no. It, a, it, but did, if they did, cheat that's it it's over and done with did i agree Alexander with you ask you um so, so so cj if you were with um your you're with your wife and then your best friend and the and your wife got that's together different. It's different. That's a because whole different scenario. Because you know scenario. that a, person. You have a relationship I, I, I'm a, with both I'm a people. Beat, I am going to beat him half to death. It's nothing to do with him. It's We just said. <laughs> if you okay. have a relationship with Oh, if the, you have a relationship. The, I wasn't like paying attention. Friend, yeah. Oh, yeah. So if you have a... Then yes. it's a whole different story. Yeah. You don't know them. They don't know you. Let's they say, don't let's owe say, you anything. If you shagged her, yeah. you're a cop with a whooping. Yeah. Right? Because I know you. And then we're going and for beers afterwards? Her, or right? No. No, no, no. <laughs> it will be a significant whooping. But after that, are we going for beers afterwards? I no. Just want to know. No, no, it won't be beers. You might be drinking from a straw for a while. Yeah, yeah, but while, beers? But am be- I drinking beers in that straw? <laughs> what am I? See, I, I'm I'll just... Be, uh, <laughs> I'm almost <my> painkillers. <laughs> See, for me, like, I just don't... That... Like, have you ever seen those videos where someone catches their partner cheating? Yeah. yeah. But they're really calm. Yeah. yeah. That's scary. Like that would that's be me. 
that's well, that's because they they already knew, and then they're just, it's just like the proof they needed. So they'd already sort of no, no, no. I'm it. talking about ones where they don't know. like they they catch it and they're like, what? But then they're just like, all right, you like you get dressed, whatever. Like you leave, and then they just like, all right, I'm gonna I'm just gonna pack my stuff and I'm gone. Yeah, like, I would do I'm... that too. I would do that too. I wouldn't be. I, would, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go in a rage. Yeah, I would you be, would. But no, I, I wouldn't. Not instantly, but after a while, you would. Once you, it's all settled down, you point. process. Those, I'm going to bust those windows out the car, mate. No, I don't think I'd, I'm a revenge person like that. I would be No, calm. but you're emotional. I'd be upset and I'd be yeah. angry after, I'm but a, not in the I'm moment. I'm a break shit, burn shit. You should be leaving with CJ, no wardrobe. CJ, we know what you're going to do. Light. you got to go to a desert island to make sure you don't kill anyone. See, like, you okay, can't let hold me ask, anything. Let me ask this. Would you find it more emotionally stressful, that happening... Or your partner just breaking up with you and leaving? Cheating. Th- that, See, that I'm happening. complete opposite. Complete opposite. Someone breaking up with you and leaving is more emotionally stressful to me because you don't have the closure. You don't necessarily have the closure and understanding of where it fell apart and what went wrong. Oh, Someone when cheats you say on you. To me, that's leave. a really easy closed book. I can, like, my emotional state for you will drastically change. I won't look at you the same. So it's a lot easier for me to walk away and just be like... When you say they break up and leave, are you meaning they just didn't give an explanation and they disappear? They might give you an explanation, but even... Like, how often does someone... I don't know. You've never been broken up with, so it's a bit harder for you. But how often has someone ever broken up with someone and they give you an explanation and you're like, yeah, no, that makes sense. And then you're just fine. Like, (laughs) when someone breaks up with you, typically they're breaking up with you. You didn't want that to happen. So Got it's you. a lot harder. Yeah, no, that would be hard. I situation. agree. Other way around. Cheat, cut. You're dead to me. But not really. But don't want to see you again. <laughs> Much easier. You might, you might be dead to me in the world. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs>